This is part three. Uh, I'm going to do a couple different techniques that are called washes. There's two different types. One's called a graded wash, or actually, we're going to start with a flat wash. So let's go ahead and write that in there, flat wash. All right, now flat wash, a wash just means it's going to cover a large area. So if you're doing a background of something, you may want a flat wash, you may want what's called a graded wash, and what's called a variegated wash. So what we're going to do is put the wash in here. So the first thing we need to do, take the bigger brushes that you have. And we're, again, we're going to put down a coat of clean water. Now, if your water, you can kind of see mine's a little bit blue. I'm going to go ahead and leave it. But if it's really mucky and dirty and making your paper dirty, then you need to go get fresh water. Now, we don't want tons. We just want to damp the paper. Right, and you want to make sure that it's covered all the way because if you leave a dry spot then this is what's going to happen okay then you're going to take a color and let's go ahead and fill one of our palettes up with a little bit of water and color we want about half and half we on a wash you don't want it super super dark okay so we're going to charge our brush and you're going to go across and you can see it kind of fraying out a little bit and then go back and forth, but you're going to move down as you go back and forth. And if it starts to lighten up, which mine is right there, it's still not too bad. We, a flat wash, we want to keep an even amount of paint. We want it all about the same color, the same value. So it's starting to lighten up a little bit, so I'm going to get a little bit more paint. And I kind of dab it off here because we don't want a lot. I'm going to go back over where it was, and again, Go, keep going back and forth, overlapping just a little bit, and go all the way down. So you're going to do that all the way down. You may have to recharge every once in a while. And you can see that's a little bit darker, so I'm going to go back in and go up a little bit just to kind of even that out. So the flat wash, we want to try to keep it nice and even and see if we can keep it all one solid value. That's the trick is not getting it to change values because that's what we're going to do on the next one. So we're going to, that is your flat wash. All right, so now we're, next we're going to do what is called a grade, graded wash. Graded or gradient. I'll just to say graded. All right, again, clean water. So wash off that brush really good, clean water. Put another coat on here again damp not super you don't want puddles of water on here just enough that it gives your paper a glisten just do it in those areas and this time we want to go from dark to light so the graded wash gradation you know gradual change try to move this up so you guys can see a little bit better so we're going to start out i'm going to start out with some blue on here. And we're going to add some blue in there. So now what you're going to do is you're going to start up at the top and again you're going to do the same thing. Kind of go back and forth. And I'll tell you about a third of the way down. Nice and even. We'll go back through that. Then I'm going to add a little bit more water and I'm just going to run it over here so I can mix it in. So this is just water. I didn't add it into my paint. This is just the water and what the blue is left in my brush. Then I'm going back over this and going back and it should start to be watered down a little bit more and you can see it's starting to lighten up. Right. Then I'm going to get clean water. I'm going to really rinse it out. So I'm really rinsing it out in my brush. So this should be all clean water. I'm going to go over the top again of that light blue and bring it all the way down and it should gradually get lighter. Now really quick I want to show you really two cool tricks uh, on what are called lifts. You want to get, sorry I had to run across the room, you want to get a tissue or some toilet paper, wad it up. While this is still wet you just want to dab. Okay. And what that does is you can kind of get a cloud effect. 
Okay, so this is called a tissue lift. And you could kind of do some lines. You don't want to do a lot, just a little bit. All right, and I'm going to try something else up here. I don't know if it'll work. This is kind of wet, but you can also, if I wanted to do like streaks and make it a little bit wider, let's say I made something too dark or I want a white spot right here. I want to get a clean brush and then I'm going to dry it. Okay, and this is called a thirsty brush, but we actually want it a little bit damp, so don't dry it all the way. And then you kind of go over it and you can see it leaves a white area. So you may have to re, again, you don't want to soak it all the way up. We want to go back over the top of it and that'll lighten up an area. So if I wanted to put a tree in there and I didn't want that red in there, so maybe I could do a trunk in there. All right, so this is called a thirsty brush and that was called a tissue lift. So you can see it started to dry out a little bit there, so I can maybe still, and this won't work if it's dry, all right? You have to do it while it's wet. So you have a flat wash with a thirsty brush. So we'll put that. And yours may have dried. This should still work when it's kind of dry. And this is a graded wash with tissue lift.